What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this Madden 22 Pro Tip video. What we're looking at today is we're looking at um, a route combination that I think you're going to really love out of the gun spread. And I want to talk specifically about gun spread for just a second. I was watching some film on Madden 22 as Madden 22 is going to be launching today. And I wanted to break this down because you're going to need to know this if you're wanting to be successful in Madden 22. Now really quickly, what we one of the things that we know about Madden 22 so far is that the user is a little bit slower. It's not quite as bad as it was on Next Gen Madden 21, but it is certainly not the best. The other thing that we know about it is that route running is really good this year, meaning that man coverage is not going to be the best. And pressure is good, but the zones can't cover behind the pressure if you send six or seven people. So that those kind of couple of things combined together really means that spread could be one of the best offenses in the game this year and probably no one is really planning on understanding you know everything that goes into spread so i wanted to do a quick video on my favorite play from gun spread in madden 21 and show you how it's going to be just as good in madden 22 um, the play comes to us out of the arizona cardinals playbook it's only found in this playbook and i believe that arizona is the best offense for running a spread style of offense uh, for several different reasons but this play curl wheel is really in my opinion the best play uh, at least right now in madden 22 launch because this post route is really unique it's different than um it doesn't if you take a look at z shallow you see that post is a little skinnier goes a little bit more toward the safeties Curl wheel is shallower, it's sharper, and it's much better against man and zone coverage. Now, before we go too far in the video, I wanted to let you know about my text message membership. If you've not signed up for my text message membership, I would highly encourage you to do that. All you have to do to sign up is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Every single week that Madden 22 is out, we're going to give you a free offensive or defensive scheme in that text message membership every single week. Those videos are about an hour long. They're literally meant to be basically a full ebook. So you're basically going to get a full uh, free offensive guide every single week or defensive guide every single week um, in that text message membership. So again, sign up by texting the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Okay, guys, let's talk about Curl Wheel. This is my favorite play. Um, I have a really strong uh, hunch that this is still going to be uh, one of the best plays in Madden 22, and that's one of the things I'm super, super pumped for. So uh, real quick, what you want to do uh, as, far as, your, as far as your adjustments go and how you want to play this is this is going to be good against a plethora of different coverages. Honestly, there's a lot of different ways to run this play. My favorite way to run this play, at least off of, off of launch, um, all we're going to do is we're going to put the running back on a table route if we can. If we can't put him on a table route, put him on a wheel. Uh, I love the table route this year, though, especially from gun spread. Put the both uh, or put the uh, X receiver on a drag and put the square receiver on a drag, and that's it. This is mesh post. This is one of my favorite plays, especially on next gen Madden because of how much better the route running is on wheel routes and drag routes. So I want you to watch how this works. Our first read is always the skinny post. And what you'll see is a skinny post right there. The safety played it uh, really, really well. But I want to show it to you again. And you'll see that we're going to get a lot of space to throw the skinny post. And the thing about last year's game was they were actually able oftentimes to user the skinny post and the drag route on the same play. This year's game, they're not going to be able to do that. And that's one of the, or not the skinny post, but the post. Um, that's one of the things I absolutely love about this. So let's say their user goes to the post route this year. They're going to be a no man's land if they do that. And they have to run to the post. It has to be user. There's no zone in the game that will stop it. But take a look at this drag route and look at how many yards you get. You're going to get about 15 yards throwing that against your meta Mabel coverage concepts that we all know and love that will still be very effective in Madden 22. So you'll see that maybe, okay, well, maybe they're going to drop that guy into a yellow zone and they're going to go get this guy. What now what they're going to be in a position is if you take a look at that drag, this is why I love drags. They're constantly moving through the zone so you can hit them at multiple points. As you can see, we're able to really consistently just work the ball up of the field against zone coverage. Another thing that I wanted to show you uh, about this play is that later on in the play, if you have time in the pocket, let's say they're playing max coverage defense. If you watch this post route, this is very unique to this post route, but watch, it will run all the way across the formation, all the way to the sideline, and you can basically get this sideline catch. Now, as you saw right there, the guy got me, which is fine, because there are ways that we can change that, and I'm going to give you a couple of other route concepts to think about in a second. I want to show it to you one more time. 
Typically, that wheel route won't stop running. He's supposed to keep running up the seams. Um, if he does, if he's, if it's a short side thing, but watch how he runs the, see how he's running him off right there? Now I can do that and get that read right there. That's what we're looking at, okay? Now, as you saw, the wheel route did stop running at the, at the deeper end of the play. I think that's partially because he's on the short side of the field. So if you were to run this on the opposite side of the field, it would be, you know, even better. But real quick, for just a second, I just want to show you another route concept that I really like, and that is to use um, the square receiver on a fade, and then you basically have this right here. Now, the reason I like this is because, again, we're talking about this late read to the circle receiver, and if you watch, look at how open that is on the sideline. And the thing about this is I can't do zone drops in practice mode, but I do want you to know that that's, there's no zone drop in the game that will cover that route. They have to user guard this route. This route is so good this year. It's even better than it was last year. And then I want to give you another setup that you can do, and that's basically a smart route and out route to the square receiver. And then you're going to do these double drags. This is another setup that I really like. You'll see the drags really pull the zones inside, and especially in next gen. They pull the zones inside, and they force your opponent to have to play cover two. There's the cover three zone. If you watch, I'll throw this, and I'll be 10 for 10 every single time. If you watch how these drag routes pull in these yellow zones. Look at that out route, really getting out, out there for me. It's almost like a rounded out route, which is the best type of out route, at least in my opinion. And as you can see, we're able to be successful. Now, I haven't even gotten into the table route yet, um, but I do want to show you that real quick. Against man-to-man, -man, that table route is a really, really good read. It's really smooth, um, it's really, really simple, and it's really, really effective. If they run man coverage on you, I'm telling you right now, whether it's a wheel route or a table route, the running back will be open every single time unless they user him. And look at how many yards I'm getting. I'm getting 10 to 15 yards against a base man look. Um, and if they're playing hard flats, I didn't show this yet. I've talked about this in about every Madden 22 uh, video that I've tried to do. But I really want you to really understand how good this route is. Watch, there's a hard flat out there. And he did play it. But if I was on the short side of the field, let me just move the ball. Let me just move the ball to the short side of the field. If you're on the short side of the field, this was a thing. And I, I'm trying to remember in my head what Madden it was. I want to say it was Madden 18. but and, and I think it was better in other games too. But I just want you to see this table route. Watch what happens. Short side, hard, flat coverage. Lurker did help him. But I'm still able to kind of fit that ball in. And I'm telling you right now, if you really get good at throwing these table routes, you're going to be really, really good at this game. This table route is super important. It beats the blitz. It beats man. It also even beats you know a coverage that's really designed to stop it. So now I wanted to move on to another route on man-to-man -man coverage, and that is um, the the um, the the uh, post route to Evans. Watch what happens here. Um, you're going to see. It actually gets kind of bagged right there. Um, normally he's going to get easy inside position every single time. Let me show it to you again. Press man on next gen, at least on the PS5. Uh, I think is actually fairly effective, uh, but there's so many other ways that we can break it down. But I just want you to watch this. You'll see. Um, look at this mesh. Just run, run them into each other. And again, this is this is a little bit of a fluke, uh, in my opinion. And there's ways that we can get around it. And I'll show it to you in just a second. So one simple way is to drag that outside guy because now he's going to be outside. Obviously, you have your table route, but watch how you know again they just kind of they just kind of get that positioning. Um, another thing to do is just simply put somebody in motion. Now, if again, this is a, a little bit of a pro tip here. This is something that's really exclusive to next gen. Don't do this on current gen. But if you put these guys on five yard in routes as opposed to drags, you'll see that these in routes will get a lot better separation. Look at that tight end separation that we're getting. A lot of this has to do with it being a press man to man. I really don't think they they kind of nerfed press man. It's not it's not that it's bad necessarily. It's just not as overpowered. So you're not going to see as much press man wins, but take a look at circle, just roasting his man coverage. I'm telling you right now that that sharp post route, it's okay on 21. It's really good on 22 um, from the from the film that I've been watching. And again, don't ever hesitate to throw this. If they blitz you, a lot of people, let me show you a setup that a lot of people like to do against gun spread. This is kind of the meta um, if they want to stop gun spread. They're going to blitz everybody. They're going to user that guy, and then they're going to kind of sit over here. Now, the reason why this is so good is if they do that, your table route is so wide open. There's nothing they can do to stop it. Even if they put a zone over there, it's not going to stop it. And as you can see, we're able to be you know, pretty easily uh, getting open against this. 
So these are some ways that you can run this play. Um, again, there's a lot of ways that you can run this play. I don't want you to just kind of focus in on just one way. I really, the, the route I want you to really learn is that circle receiver on his post. Um, I think that is such, such an important route to learn. And then if you want to go up the seam on him, you do have this uh, triangle route. That can be your pull route. He takes three people with him. And as you can see, I'm able to dump it down to that post. So this route's really, really good. Try it out. Let me know what you think. And again, if you want to sign up for my free Madden 22 schemes, uh, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900.